so you see what I've been telling you It's nothing like it seems It's what I've been telling you Oh, you'd learn what I mean if you came But the risk are you living it day? getting better today that is the question of the day uh, how are you getting better today we can talk about life we can talk about running whatever you want to talk about down in the comments how are we getting better today listen I did not want to lose the Pikes Peak Ascent I wanted to win the Pikes Peak Ascent it didn't happen by three minutes and 45 seconds and but compared to two years ago uh that's a that's a big improvement and so i just uh, i'm getting older but to, but the age is a number right I, I hope i'm driving that point home like i'm frankly a little shocked that as i'm getting older it appears i'm getting a little stronger at least with mountain running specifically so i'm excited that's why i'm on the top of long's peak right now for the first time ever because I want to get better. I'm not done getting better, and I hope you're not done getting better. That is the message today. 14,200, and I think 11 feet. Oh, baby. Hey. Oh, crazy. Crazy. You can do this too, ladies and gentlemen. You can do this too. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. All right? All right. Alright, I don't know why, I don't even know what to do. It's like a new summit. I don't know what to do up here. Oh, it's big. It's a big summit. Wow, that means this mountain used to be a lot. And down we go. Oh yeah, it's steep.
Oh yeah, back, back to the car. Car's not doing so well, so hopefully, hopefully it uh, makes it back to Denver. We will see. All right, putting on my recovery sleeves right now. I must say the calves feel really good right now. I put them on for three hours yesterday. I think after today's run, I'll do four or five hours in the compression sleeves. Ah, uh, ah, right, there we go. We got them on. All right, see you back at the house. Are you done getting better? All right, YouTube family. I was very specific in choosing the, the title of today's vlog. Now, I could have said, are we done getting better? Because it's a two-way street here on YouTube. You're motivating me. That's right. I thought about you guys a lot in the Pikes Peak Ascent. I just want you to know, everyone cheering me on. And it sounds like there was a little bit of a, uh, a takeover in the live stream. So I'm hearing through the grapevine. So that is great news. But you're motivating me. And I hope I'm motivating you. So, but at the same time, the reason I said, are you done getting better is because I really want to hone in on this question of the day so that you can sit back, think about it, reflect, like, am I embracing where I'm at? And that's, you know, that's in my training, in my life, or am I taking the little steps every single day to get better? Like the, you know, for me, I think the big thing for me this year has been the maintenance of my body with aqua jogging, with the foam rolling, with now going once a week to a massage therapist. What else am I doing? It's like all like, we can run all day. We can, like if we want, like we love running. Like if you're watching this channel, there's probably a good chance you love running, but it's those little things in between the running that I think help make the difference. Now today you're probably wondering, wait a minute, Seth, you just said you're getting ready for the Amsterdam Marathon. What the heck are you doing? Going and running another 14er uh, with 58. So today's run was 14 miles, 22 kilometers, 5,800 feet of vertical gain and loss, which is about 1,700 meters of gain and loss. Now, most marathon runners and racers don't train like that, right? I get it, I get it. But here's an announcement. Yes, I'm racing two more races uh, between now in the Amsterdam Marathon on October 20th. Two more. One of them I've actually already announced. The other one I have not. So let's go with the one I already announced. I will be going to New Hampshire, September 29th. Don't quote me, it's Sunday. That's Sunday, I think it's the 29th of September for the USA Mountain Trail Running Championships in New Hampshire at a ski resort out there. It's like Sun something, not Sun Valley, but anyway, it's in New Hampshire. So I'll be out there in late September. So if you're in the New Hampshire area or Massachusetts or Vermont, oh my gosh, that'd be amazing to, to meet the East Coast crew out there. And then the next race that yes, I had on my radar, but frankly, I wasn't talking about it at all because I just did not know if my left foot, and I'm looking down at my left foot right now, if my left foot was gonna hold up through the Pikes Peak Ascent training and race. And sure enough, it did. And we're moving forward. So the next race is not this weekend, not Saturday, but a week from, when you're watching this, a week from now. So uh, let's see, September 7th, I do believe, in Utah at Snowbird. That's right, Snowbird, Utah, near Salt Lake City. Uh, it's the last stop in the Cirque series. So it's a nine mile race, so not too bad. About 3,500 feet of vertical gain and loss. So there is downhill in this race, but I feel like I've built up enough strength in my legs to be able to withstand the downhill now and in my foot. All right, and before signing off, I just, I just have to dig a little bit deeper into this question that I did not come up with it. I heard it recently, I forget where. It's probably on the radio, maybe a podcast. Are you done getting better? For some reason, that question, when I heard it, just hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, no, I'm not done getting better. In fact, I feel like I just proved to myself that two, like, I cut nine minutes. Now, it was a two-year period of training, and that's another plug for patience, especially for all the high schoolers and college students out there, all the veteran runners out there. You know patience, patience, your aerobic base, your stamina, it will continue to build if you are consistent in your training, if you can stay healthy as much as possible, and if you're patient. So a little two month injury, now I know that's a lot of time, but it's that's a little blip in the, in the system compared to your long-term aerobic development as a runner. And so um, are you done getting better? Frankly, I might just be getting started. That's what I'm telling myself. 
I, I, I'm just figuring out this mountain running business and um, three minutes and 45 seconds. I just keep, I, I was repeating that to myself a little bit too much on today's run. Like I got this three minutes and 45 seconds. Like that's a lot, but it's not a lot at the same time. So I'm excited. Thank you all for being here. I think uh, keyword is better because I know we can all be better in running and in life. And the two often inter intersect. I think they feed off of each other so well. We're very fortunate as runners to have uh, this drive every single day to get out the door, breathe fresh air. We're like, we, <laughs> the exercise like that most people despise doing and we, most of us, enjoy doing and love doing, like the benefit for us long-term for our, our health is off the charts. So keep going, I'm here for you. You are here for me, I know you are. And are you done getting better? No, we are not, we are not. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Two vlogs on the right or the left. Both of them I feel like are very motivational vlogs. So check those out on the right or the left. I'd appreciate it and that's all for today. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.